Welcome back everybody. I'm glad you're here. This is hottest news today. Miami Dolphins entered day two at the 2021 Senior Bowl training camp with 2021 draft stars like Smith, Harris. Head coach Brian Flores also had a private meeting with former Dolphins coach Nick Saban at Mobile. Flores did not hide it but continued to openly his desire for the stars of Crimson Tide. The movement has pushed back rumors that the Dolphins will transfer a quarterback star like Deshaun Watson or even Saints after they leave this season such as Dak Prescott, Drew Bees, even Tom Brady. As Dolphins believe, Tua Tungavailoa is a franchise quarterback. Let me say a little, briefly. I built NatFL channel even though I don't know what the hell about YouTube and even don't know how to use a computer. But with my love for dolphins, I want you to hear news where no one is controlling us. Maybe the sensitive news, no official newspaper dares to go public, and after a while talking on the screen with you guys, I found out that my image is a little bit like this adorable young rookie from Hawaii. The kids around my neighborhood often tell each other a story that immigrant colored kids are trash. I do not believe that. And do you believe it? They're just a kid but that's not the worst. Even teammates who play the same team together, sometimes there are distinctions. Look, Tua Tungavailoa just wrapped up his first season with the Miami Dolphins, but his future with the team could already be in jeopardy. Despite him being a rookie, a report surfaced this past month that his teammates were not confident in his abilities, and he has been mentioned in trade talks when it comes to the tense situation between the Houston Texans and Deshaun Watson. While some may be questioning his potential as an NFL quarterback, there are others who expect him to make a huge leap in his second season. One of those people is Hall of Fame wide receiver Terrell Owens. During a recent discussion on Owens, during a recent discussion on Owens YouTube channel with fellow Hall of Fame wideout Jerry Rice, the question was asked if Tungavailoa was the next Steve Young type player. Owens then told a story about meeting Tungavailoa for the first time at the University of Alabama and running routes with him, and how he came away so impressed with the young quarterback that he thought he could start in the league immediately. He comes out, he wasn't as tall as I thought he was going to be, we was out there an hour and a half, Owens said. This dude was so impressive that when I left there, I was like, oh my gosh, honestly, this dude could probably play in the league right now, Owens said. He hit every route. When I was running my routes, I was envisioning and I saw Steve Young throwing the ball to me. Owens then revealed that he made a bet with a friend at halftime of the national championship game, when Tungavailoa replaced Jalen Hurts and led Alabama to a comeback victory over Georgia back in January of 2018. Not only Owens, even Bice, Lewis Riddick talking about Tua Tungavailoa during special teams drills at the end of the national team practice called Tua one of the best pure passers he's ever evaluated. Lewis Riddick, the Dolphins see Tua Tungavailoa every day, so they can make a true assessment. He didn't have the typical offseason. If he had not gotten hurt he was as pure and as natural a passer as we have seen in a very long time. Put some very real weapons around him. Todd McShay, why not give Tua Tungavailoa the most consistent weapon he had at Alabama? The guy that in the biggest games always showed up? There is a rapport there. To me that makes a lot of sense. Stick with Tua Tungavailoa. Tua's going to be fine. He's was not 100%. Put guys around him. However, being in Dolphins, with an unsuitable offensive coordinator, who restricted Tua's performance. There have been times. He was replaced by Fitzpatrick. The Dolphins' next offensive coordinator will have a big Dolphins' next offensive coordinator will have a big task in getting the offense fixed with Tungavailoa at the helm. Hiring the right coach for the job may be the most important decision Flores has made in Miami. And I will report this in detail tomorrow, please stay tuned. Return to Brian Flores' commitment to Tua. Flores is not just a coach, he is a CEO, a strong black man. He is working at full capacity at the Senior Bowl 2021 training camp. Flores's goal is to find more sharp weapons for Tua. What's more, as a CEO, he must also carefully calculate the deals that match the Miami Dolphins. Flores detailed the advantages of being on the practice field and being around the 135 prospects in mobile this week. Getting face time with these guys, in a practice setting, in a meeting setting, along with the individual meetings that we do in the evening, I think all of it's advantageous for us, Flores said. 
especially the practice time and the meeting time to see how guys learn and really get to know them as people. At least one onlooker came away impressed in his evaluation of the pace and energy of the national team's practice under Flores and staff. What does that practice look like? It starts with planning and preparation. Flores detailed what this week is all about in terms of the Dolphins' coach's duty to the prospects. We give them all information, let's call it a schematic, X's and O's standpoint, Flores said. We spend a lot of time on the fundamentals. Each position has its set of fundamentals, footwork, hand placement, ball security, running, accuracy, every position is a little bit different. The idea is to take those fundamental drills from the individual period and then apply them in the one-on-one -on -one period and then apply them in a group setting, and then finally apply them in a team setting. That's kind of the process. We're looking for them to apply the things that they've learned from an individual, to a one-on-one, -on -one, to a group period, to a team period, and then, okay, I worked that drill here, and this is where it applies. Here it applies in a one-on-one -on -one setting, here it applies in a group setting, maybe 4-4 four, four on 4 or 7-on-7 seven seven or 9-on-7, and then you go into the team period, he continued. That's really the process. And we're looking for guys to apply the things we teach them over and over and over again, and improve and get better. With that first-hand look at the prospects, the Dolphins coaching staff gets an up-close opportunity to find which players fit the criteria that Flores and company are looking for. We're looking for guys who are tough, who are smart, who are competitive, who love to play, love to practice, who are looking to get better, want to improve and guys who are team first, Flores said. Those are sort of the intangibles we're looking for and if a guy has that and is talented, then I imagine he'll do the things and make the sacrifices necessary to make himself the best player he can possibly be. During this training camp, players will be analyzed through every lens imaginable. While every physical and mental test serves a purpose, good players are good players. If you're a good player, I mean, you can nitpick all you want about a guy's size, good players are good players are good players, Flores said. Another source taught me that. Brian Flores have some privately words with former Dolphins coach Nick Saban. So what do you think is this conversation? For me, I think, they are talking about someone. It could be Smith or it could be Harris. But what I care most now is, Nick Saban understand how Tua Tungavailoa play. Especially when Tua had a serious hip injury. He said in a magazine like this, well, it's probably the most devastating thing, as a coach, that I've ever had to go through with a player, Saban said. First of all, I had a tremendous amount of respect for him, his family, knowing what his goals and aspirations were, seeing a guy get injured so seriously was very, very difficult for a lot of us here at Alabama. But then to do a great job from a medical standpoint with our medical staff and the people who helped him, and then his attitude towards rehabbing, and the hard work he did to get back to it, I have a great sense of pride that he was able to do it, knowing that's what he always wanted to accomplish. It's kinda like being a proud father. To see a guy go through that and overcome the adversity, and still put himself in a position to do what he always wanted to do, what his dreams were, which was to be a starting quarterback in the NFL, I'm proud of him. So in your opinion, Nick Saban is really supporting the Miami Dolphins, by attracting the stars in Alabama? Or, conversely, is there some exchange between Dolphins free agents? Brian Flores is building to turn the Miami Dolphins into a new empire. Do you believe in Flores? Let's look forward to the latest news of Miami Dolphins. See you tomorrow.